So, a new development that I've been eagerly anticipating since well before the launch of my channel, I'm happy to report is now ahead of schedule. Merchandising! 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 Yes, childrens, I'm happy to announce I'm finally getting into the merchandising business. Now, call me greedy, but for me, it's not enough to simply make retail. I want to be able to own the trademark outright. That, however, costs monies. Here's where you come in. Something I haven't given enough attention to, or at least brought enough awareness of, are my support sites that go along with my social media. When I was reading up on tools of the trade, the common thread was to tell your fan base what their donations would go to. A new computer, better mic, improved editing software, a goal in mind to assure your followers of money well spent and how their support enhances the experience that their host brings to the table. Now, while I have a Patreon, I admittedly don't have the luxury of the time needed to create and post exclusive content there. However, I have created your standard PayPal account, subscribe star page, and even set up a coin payments to accept cryptocurrency. I'm nice like that. I'm well aware that times are tough for everyone and expendable income is at a premium. As unfair as it be to ask for donations to support my fantasy of snorting lines of coke off of stripper booty, ah, a girl can dream. Any backing for t-shirts seems more reasonable and would be greatly valued. Baby steps. Baby steps. With this merchandise goal that I'm really passionate about, that I'm confident will take this channel to another level, and is the start of more to come, I figured I'd throw the support sites out there with a mention, emphasize the donations are naturally voluntary, and express any support would be deeply appreciated. Speaking of... One thing that I admittedly am behind schedule on is putting my sister channel, Mind Games, to good use. You won't just be getting my angelic voice offering comedic stylings on scary movies, you'll also be getting a double dose of me weighing in on survival horror. I am soon to be joining the game streaming space. Hold your applause. My Streamlabs Prime membership allows me to stream gameplay to Twitch, my YouTube channel, over Facebook Gaming, and simulcast to DLive, all at the same time. Game streams will also be later uploaded to BitChute as well. I'm a console gamer at heart, but since I am on Steam, I'll also be playing scary games on PC down the road. Eagle-eyed viewers will even find a donation goal where contributions will go towards developing the merchandise. You, you can clap now. <laughs> ah, money well spent. By the time of this video's upload, I will have done a test stream on Tuesday, June 8th with my first Let's Play going live Wednesday on the 9th of June to celebrate my 9 months on YouTube. While I continue to edit and post videos, I'll start off slow on the gaming side. I'm thinking twice a month with game streaming, and once I get the hang of it, as well as balancing episodes of my regular channel, I'll bump it up to a weekly basis. With my regular channel using the Mind's Eye moniker, I figured Mind Games would make for an easy find and an instant follow. Speaking of, observant viewers will notice a change in the gamer tag. Which brings me to my next point. So, after some legal jargon that I won't bore you with, it's with a heavy heart that I inform you I was denied the rights to the Incubus name. It's already taken by some band that ain't as entertaining as me, despite the fact that the trademark was available when I applied for it. Yeah, wrap your head around that one. As discouraging as that was, I quickly realized that not only could I fall back on my backup plan, the alias I was actually originally going to adopt, but I recognized that a refresher isn't necessarily a bad omen, neither setback nor roadblock. A turn of events down the wrong side of the tracks is no cause for concern, because there is no turning back now. 
If anything, this sudden development gives me the perfect opportunity to reacquaint myself and, by extension, my followers with the core values that my channel was founded on. With the two previously mentioned endeavors I will be embarking on just over the horizon, the timing couldn't be better for a revamp. And so, my channel aims to take deeper dives into the world of fear fiction to unearth every dirty little secret, host more hard-hitting exposés into our favorite genre, placing horror under the microscope to learn what shadows lurk within. If a reappraisal is in order, allow me to quote my inaugural episode. You can't tell me that the genre that serves as a mirror for society now flinches in abject terror over its own reflection. Is horror afraid to find something it doesn't like staring back? Nothing to hide, and yet everything to fear. Therefore, this night watchman's lamp aims to shed light on hidden treasures that have slipped between the cracks to connect those dots that you never knew drew the bigger picture on the silver screen. After all, despite denial in donning a moniker that's the stuff of nightmares, I imagine there'd be no reservations in assuming the face of fear incarnate. Welcome to the Inquisition.